What if I told you that one of the most powerful AI models in the world is not only open source, but you can use it for free right now without any limits? In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to access a state-of-the-art AI that outperforms even some of the top proprietary models in coding, reasoning, and tool use. This isn't just another chatbot. This is a powerhouse that can build entire applications, create stunning visuals, and conduct deep research for you. And the best part? I'll show you a method to use it completely for free, without needing to install anything. This is the kind of information that changes the game, so make sure you stick around. Also, if you want to get the most out of this, I've prepared a free PDF with all the prompts and secrets I'll be sharing today, which you can find on our Discord in the description. At the end of the video, I'll show you exactly how to get it. Now, let's dive in. So, what is this model we're talking about? It's GLM 4.7, the latest open source model from Jipu AI. And when I say it's a powerhouse, I mean it. Forget the boring technical details for a moment, and let's talk about what it can actually do for you. It can create stunning, modern websites that look like they were designed by a professional agency. It can generate complex, interactive 3D games that you can play directly in your browser. It can create beautiful, animated graphics and SVGs that bring your content to life. It can build entire browser-based operating systems with multiple functional applications. It can create professional presentations and posters with perfect layout and sizing. It can even act as your personal research assistant, diving deep into academic papers and summarizing the key findings for you. And one of the most impressive things is its ability to think before it acts. It has a feature called interleaved thinking, which means it reasons through problems before giving you an answer, leading to much better results. It also has preserved thinking, which means it remembers its reasoning across multiple turns in a conversation, so it doesn't lose track of what it was doing. This is a model that can build, create, and reason at a level that was previously only possible with expensive, proprietary tools. If you want to try the apps it generates, just copy the code it gives you into Notepad, save the file with any name you want as long as it ends in .html, and that's it. Just open that file in your browser and you'll be able to use the app. And now for the best part, how to use it for free. We're going to use a platform called LM Arena. It's a place where you can test and compare different AI models completely for free. To use GLM 4.7, you just need to go to the website, head to the direct chat section, and in the model search bar, type GLM 4.7. That's it. You now have unlimited, free access to one of the most powerful AI models in the world. No installation, no APIs, no credit card required. Just open your browser and start creating. The platform lets you try any AI model you want so they can compete with each other and define which models are better. When the AI gives you a result, you simply rate what you think. Let me know in the comments if you want a full video dedicated to this platform because it has a ton of secrets that most people don't know about. Now let's see it in action. I'm going to show you some examples, starting with the most visually impressive ones. First, let's ask it to create an animated SVG of a butterfly. SVGs are vector graphics that can be animated, and they're notoriously difficult for AI models to get right because they require understanding of both visual design and code structure. I'm going to give it a prompt asking for a symmetrical butterfly with animated wings and a creative background. And here's the result. A beautiful, symmetrical butterfly with smoothly animated wings, the movement is natural and fluid. This is a perfect example of its vibe coding capabilities, where it can create visually stunning designs without you having to specify every single detail. You can use this for your content, for your presentations, or just for fun. Next, let's push it even further. I'm going to ask it to create a fully functional 3D game, a Minecraft clone in the browser. This is an extremely complex task that requires 3D rendering, physics simulation, player controls, and block manipulation. Most AI models would struggle with something this complex, but GLM 4.7 handles it with ease. Here's the result. A fully playable Minecraft clone running directly in your browser. You can walk around, jump, place blocks, break blocks, and the textures look great. All the controls work as expected. The fact that it can generate something this complex in a single prompt is honestly mind-blowing. This is probably one of the best single-shot generations of a Minecraft clone I've ever seen from any AI model. If you're a game developer, or just someone who wants to create interactive experiences, this is a game changer. Now, let's try something a bit more technical, but equally impressive. Let's ask it to create a browser-based operating system with five functional applications and a special feature of its own choosing. This is a complex task that requires the model to understand how to structure an entire operating system interface, create multiple functional applications, and even come up with a creative feature on its own. A few moments later, we have a complete OS running in the browser. It created a calculator that does all the basic operations. 
a notepad where you can write and save notes, a snake game that's fully playable, and even a voice command center as its special feature. And the voice commands actually work. You can say, open calculator, and it opens the calculator. You can say, change wallpaper, and it changes the wallpaper. This showcases its incredible ability to handle complex, multi-step projects. Finally, let's test its research capabilities. I'm going to ask it to find the top five most cited AI research papers in the past 12 months and summarize their main contributions. This is a task that requires the model to use tools to search the web, access academic databases like Semantic Scholar, read and understand research papers, and then synthesize the information into a coherent summary. And here are the results. A concise summary of the five most relevant papers, covering topics like medical AI, foundational models, autonomous agents, evaluation methodology, and computer vision. Each paper comes with its key findings clearly explained. This is the kind of deep research that would take you hours to do manually, done in just a few minutes. If you're a student, a researcher, or just someone who wants to stay up to date with the latest developments in AI, this feature alone is worth its weight in gold. Now, for those of you who are interested in the technical details, let's take a quick look at the benchmarks. On core coding benchmarks like SWE Bench Verified, it scores an incredible 73.8%, which is unheard of for an open source model. In tool use benchmarks, it even surpasses Claude Sonnet 4.5 and GPT 5.1. On the HLE benchmark, which stands for Humanity's Last Exam, it achieved 42.8% with tools, a 12.4% improvement over its predecessor. It also has a massive 200,000 token context length and can output up to 128,000 tokens, which means it can handle very long and complex tasks without losing context. And the best part? It's four to seven times cheaper than most proprietary models, while being completely open source. These numbers confirm what we've already seen in the examples. GLM 4.7 is a top tier model that can compete with the best of the best, and you can use it for free. And as I promised, if you want the free PDF with all the prompts I use today, as well as a ton of other secrets and information about AI, just join our Discord from the link in the description. Go to the bot PDF channel, send a message to the bot, and it will ask for the link to this video. Paste the link, and you'll receive the PDF instantly. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this incredibly useful. Let me know in the comments what you're going to create with GLM 4.7. See you in the next one.